What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and I'm really excited about today's food review because it is one of my most favourite foods. When this stuff is done right, this can possibly be the best food ever. Macaroni and cheese. Oh my days. You cannot beat a bit of mac and cheese. When it's absolutely fantastic, it is the best thing ever. I actually, you sometimes can get it at Toby Carver on a Sunday dinner. Which, that is controversial, that, but I always get it and it is beautiful. It's like a little it's a twist on a Sunday dinner. But we're not on a Sunday dinner today. We are trying the new product exclusively for ice at Iceland. It's for Goodfellows. It's new, fully loaded mac and cheese. And it looks like it's got pepperoni in it. So mac and cheese topped with pepperoni and I think some like breadcrumbs on top. It sounds delicious. Now, the price at the time of filming, I apologise because I am filming this in advance if it's not on offer anymore. Online price, Iceland, two for a fiver. Um, I'm not sure how much they are singular, but two for a fiver. I'll, I'll be honest, when I ordered it online, I thought it was going to be bigger. This is quite a small box. It is um, 350 grams. So when you compare that to some of the fully loaded meals I did, I've done over the weekend, uh, all day breakfast and the meat feast pasta, you're not getting anywhere near as much for this as of this as you are of that and this is more expensive so it's a bit of a treat but mac and cheese oh my goodness like i say good fellas i only ever associate with like pizza but you know what it's new it's uh iceland we're gonna give it a go somebody that says new there i'm like on it like a shot <laughs> so without further ado let's take a closer look at the box so here is the box like i said it is Fully loaded mac and cheese, loaded with pepperoni and full on flavour. Look at that. And it does look like it's got some like crispy breadcrumbs on. It looks like it's the mini pepperonis, not the not the big big pieces of pepperoni. Looks alright. Macaroni pasta and it is new. It's apparently it's been made with respect. Even on the Goodfellas logo, there's a pizza. So you'd hope that this is okay. Like I said, it's exclusive to Iceland. And this is a traffic light system. It's not going to be healthy, is it? 621 calories for this little pack. And you've got three reds. <laughs> but you're not eating macaroni and cheese to be healthy, are you? It looks good, though, that, right? So let's have a look. Oh, we've got a spiel here. It says, fully loaded mac and cheese. Our mac and cheese speaks for itself. A rich, mature cheddar sauce loaded with mozzarella and pepperoni made with no artificial colours or flavours. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Cooked macaroni pasta in a seasoned creamy cheese sauce with pepperoni. So we've got 13% cheese, 4% pepperoni. Not a lot there really, is there? Mostly pasta. 13% sauce and 4% fully loaded. They're calling it fully loaded with 4% pepperoni. That's already put me on the back foot there. So allergens, you've got milk, wheat, and that is, oh, and mustard. And it's, it says, although some great care great care has been taken to remove all bones, some rem may remain. Bones? Oh, fantastic. We can microwave it. I was thought I thought this might have only been oven cut, but we are going to microwave it. We're going to save the time, save the money. So a microwave, mine is, a, I think it's a thousand watts, but we'll do four minutes, peel the film lid and stir, and then a further three minutes. There we go. And that is the full nutritional information. For you people that know about that stuff, I of course do not. 62 grams of carbs and 27 grams of protein per pack. 29 grams of fat. Like I said, you're not eating this to be healthy, are you? But, let's get into it. So, let's give it an open. It looks like a lasagna. It does look like a lasagna. So, I'll pierce this. Get it in the microwave and I'll bring you back when we stir it up. So that is in the microwave now and it's just enough time to ask you if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button. It is totally free, it doesn't cost you a penny. YouTube analytics are telling me that 75% of my viewers, that's you guys, are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe so you know when I go live. I know you all know it's free fame every day but come on hit that subscribe, get me numbers up. We're nearly at 3,000. We're on the road to 3,000, we're not nearly there. We need, I need your help to get there. Come on. And one thing I did notice about this 
the packaging when I opened it from the box is it, it reminded me of a cheap lasagna like a, a Tesco value hearty food company as it's called now or just essentials that the packaging was very cheap the, the seal was it looked like it was very very uh, like a, a single seal it wasn't very um, this is a high profile brand this is a, a, a decent brand good fellas it's supposed to be like real quality product like and but when the packaging is not like that that much that quality that plastic seemed really thin and it actually even says on the box um the tray may soften on heating and will regain rigidity on the standing so this this is going to be like do you know when you, when you pull it out of microwave and it's like bending all over sometimes you might drop it but i'm going to have to really make sure i grab hold of it but yeah it's the quality of the actual um the plastic carton container that it was in is poor that's what i'm trying to get out <laughs> right okay enough of that i'll uh it's all about the flavor of the food never mind the container do you know jesus come on so it has been in for the first four minutes and you know you know what i mean about the cheap plastic um compartment the, the container it's really really and then although the peel is easy it is a, just a bit it's just cheap feeling and on a branded product it's still frozen in there as well we've got to give this a good mix up on a branded product i did think that it would be a bit more a bit more quality to be honest although i would prefer the food to be high quality rather than the the uh the container it's nice to be uh it's nice to have a bit of quality on the other parts of it when you're paying this sort of money which is even at two pound fifty this is a lot of money for the food you're getting so there it is it's got to go back in for three more minutes so i'll cover it up we don't want any explosions so it is done it looks extremely cheesy However, what I have to say is the pepperoni in this is uh, is pitiful, to be honest. There is hardly any pepperoni. 4% pepperoni. How can they call this fully loaded? It, I'm hoping that the sort of cheese sauce and the macaroni is really nice because you can have mac and cheese, which is nice. But this is not really fully loaded, is it? They should be calling this hardly loaded. There's not a lot of food here, to be honest. There we go. It's not fully loaded. It's really disappointing, to be honest. It's a small portion of food. Now, I am comparing it against the other Iceland fully loaded range, and they are really good, and currently... At the time of filming, anyway, they're on offer at five for five pounds, some of them. And they are twice the size of this. And they are actually fully loaded. Well, it's all about taste anyway, so let's have a taste. See, looking at this little container of food, I'm very, very disappointed already. Based on looks alone, this, it's it, it looks poor. It looks pathetic, really. To, to imagine that you're going to be paying over three pounds for this, I can't remember how much it was, but I know it's two for a fiver now, so it's got to be at least three pound on its own. That is, I wouldn't be paying that. This compared to them fully loaded range from Iceland's own, Goodfellas have got a lot of catching up to do here. Now I'm hoping it tastes absolutely incredible, but it's just it's pathetic, isn't it? It's little. It's. I was so looking forward to this as well. I was just. I've been disappointed twice with this. I haven't even tasted it. I, would, I ordered it online, it looked fantastic. I came, it got delivered, I pulled it out at the same time as I pulled the um, Iceland fully loaded range out. And I thought, how small is this? Ridiculous. And I thought, wow, as if you can't really, can't really tell. I know you can check the weight and things like that online, but you couldn't really tell. And because it's new, I thought, I'll try it. And I was just disappointed. Disappointed when I pulled it out. And then when I, now I've cooked it, it's, it's even worse. It looks cheap. Let's hope it tastes quality. Right. Have to give it a go. I do like mac and cheese. I'm a massive mac and cheese fan. And I'll be fair, the macaroni and actual and the actual cheese sauce looks alright. 
but they should just be calling this macaroni and cheese and charging about a pound because it's not fully loaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's more pepperoni. There's more of this little pepperoni on one of those little Chicago town pizzas than there is in this dish. Right, let's give the macaroni and cheese a go anyway. It's, it's, it's quite salty. It's not blowing me away. It's okay. Okay at best. Yeah, this is not great. It's, apart from salt, it's just like a salty. You know what it tastes like? <laughs> it tastes like one of those um, packets you get. Broccoli, cheese, cheese sauce packets, powdered cheese sauce. It's not quality at all. You could, this could be done a, a million miles cheaper than this. Now, I don't get slated for liking everything. This guy likes everything. I say everything's great. I don't at all. When something's not up to standard, I'll tell you. i have just give you my opinion. We've all got them. And if you've had this, let me know in the comments your opinion. And Because you might like it. You might think this is fantastic. The best macaroni and cheese I've ever had. I doubt it, but... It, it, let me know in the comments if, if you have had this. And if you did like it, or you don't like it. Or if you think it's you liked it, but it's not worth the price. Which is probably where I'm, I'm at. I don't... I wouldn't buy this again. Never, ever, ever. I don't even know if I'd buy it again for a pound. If it was an offer like the five for five pound, I don't know if I'd buy it again for that. This is just, it's a poor attempt by uh, Goodfellas, this. I think they should stick to pizza. Well, that is a four out of ten. It's okay at best. It's definitely not fully loaded, this. Hardly loaded. I would say, well, I'm, I would never get it again. Rubbish. Four out of ten at best. Okay. Okay then. I'll, uh, I've got the lasagna as well. I got two for five pounds, so I got that and I got the lasagna. I hope the lasagna is better, but I was going to do it tomorrow, but I think I'll swerve it now and do something else. Maybe another fish and chips here. Can't go wrong. Okay, I'll catch you tomorrow at 3pm. Thank you for watching.